Hi, I'm Leslie Powell, and I want to talk with you how my painting has been influenced by my movement career as a dancer and a choreographer. So how choreography has really influenced a lot how I think about my painting. And first of all, we're going to talk about space and how where you put the dancer or the object on the page or on the stage influence the expression. So if all my choreography and all my painting starts center stage all the time, it gets kind of boring. And so uh, a woman named Doris Humphrey wrote a wonderful uh, book about choreography and how different parts of the stage has different influences. This is downstage left. This is downstage center. This is downstage right. Now, so you understand the terminology within um, the stage, because a lot of the stages were raked, that was what influenced the terminology. That was downstage, that was upstage. So here I am in uh, stage right, center stage. And you can see how the space either gives an advancing feeling. If I come back here, I feel more retreated and more in the corner. Here, center stage changes it. I'm mainly using my white rug as the boundaries of stage, but I also could choose, a, I'm gonna use the camera and the monitor so that sometimes we choose to use the edges of the uh, page or on stage. Also how I have my facing influences the design. So that's a very simple entendu. But you can see that when I do this simple movement, how the line changes in facing. And of course, then if I put them in different places, you can see that it changes the spaces. Another very strong part of space on stage and on the canvas or paper is your diagonals. So you can see it has an advancing feeling. It has a different feeling if I'm facing front. It's gonna have a different feeling if I'm advancing backwards. And then of course, if I change the facings, it changes the movement. In my school, we used to do this uh, great exercise where one person would act as the sculptor and the other person would be the clay. So we would make it, we would put the client and uh, colleague in different shapes. And again, you can see even those shapes influence that where I decide to put the design on the page. Then we would take another uh, person. So there'd be two sculptors and two clay. And we would put those uh, people together. And then we looked at what the expression happens when you have a simple sculpture. And I'm, I'm gonna show you soon in my choreography and then in my painting. So, we used to take this to the school, so it's easier to do with the kids, because you could literally pick them up and you could see that I could take the same shape of the body and put it in different facings in relationship to each other that change the space. So this is a piece called Tangos and Tangles. Um, I am the dancer, Leslie Powell, and my colleagues Andre, Andre Veers. This was taken uh, probably about 30 years ago. And this is the same movement, but you can see how the different facings change the expression. Then here are different parts of the dance. 
And you can see that our relationship to each other changes the expression of the piece. So we can also look at how sometimes this set, so I'm gonna use some simple objects that I have in my uh, room, can change also the expression. So in choreography, we would have the music, we would have the costume, sometimes we would have the set, and then the lighting could change everything. In the painting, and then there's also sometimes certain choreographers work with a set. Then in painting, we can also think about the object and where is that object in the space of the painting? Are they, it, it could be a more realistic painting that they're in an environment, or it could be a more abstract to show a uh, color and line um, and tone. So you can see if I, uh, how my body with the shapes changes, and it could be the same movement, but just my moving differently around the objects changes the design of the space. So this is a, a piece called Rude Awakenings. I'm the dancer and a colleague of mine created this set. And you can see how this set can change the environment of the dancer. So I took some simple drawings. So I attend a wonderful class at the Art Students League in New York City. And we have a live model with clothes with a set behind it. And it kind of makes you think differently about the negative space as well as the object. So I, to show you how, where the figures are in space can change the expression, I then took it in Photoshop and Procreate and I added a little color, but you can see how the figures in different positions change the expression of the piece. So the drawing on the left is probably a, so when we do the, at the Art Students League, the poses are from one minute to about five minutes. This is probably a two minute uh, drawing. And I think it's probably a layering of different poses, the same model for different poses. So the piece on the right is an oil painting from that drawing. And then this is a bigger piece, uh, again, an oil painting. And again, the how I always thought about the costumes and the lighting can influence the expression of the piece. On the right is probably a single uh, pose that I did. And then sometimes I've come back into the art studio and I'll take my favorite poses and try to put them together to work on a bigger piece. And so here is another series. So the piece on the left is a watercolor from the poses I worked on in the Art Students League. And on the piece on the right is another painting with oil from this series. So I wanted to show you how my choreography career had changed also how I think about movement on the page and whether I use more the figure for this example, I'm also thinking this way in some of my landscapes as well. If you want more information about my work, go to www.lesliapowell.com.